Okay, gang, I'm glad to have you here today. One of the most beautiful parts of my, I would say, job, but really my life since I'm just retired, is that every day Jay and I do something different. We have so many projects going that it never gets boring. One day we're up here, we're milling logs. One day we're in the shop uh, finishing tongue and groove. One day we're cutting logs. One day we're timber framing. And today, we actually pulled out, this is all the white oak decking that we need to get finished down at the carriage house. So this stuff has actually uh, been air dried for three months. We had it in our kiln for a month and we've actually pulled it out. It was that giant stack of lumber and we didn't even really know we were going to do it. I know I needed to figure out how much I did, but I surprised Jay this morning that we tackled into the big load. So really what we're going to do is show you how we're actually going to prepare this dried wood and it's going to become white oak decking so right now what we're doing is sizing the last load down at the mill i'm going to show you how we size it how we use the material what we use the cutoffs for we try to waste absolutely nothing so We've actually been trying to finish up stuff here. This has actually already been sized now. So this wood has been dried. And I'll show you as we go through, as we're cutting, I'm checking the moisture temperature and this stuff is ready. It's perfect. So we're getting it sized so that we can get it into the shop and prepare it to be uh, beautiful, beautiful decking. So guys, I mean, normally uh, we don't size our boards when we dry them. These things, we try to cut them big as we're going through because things can warp, things can change, and we kind of run pretty quick. So there still could be bark that we need to get rid of. So I'm actually, this board is really long. To be honest with you, I think it looks like a 16 footer. Boom, that's out of our kiln. That's 16 thick. Look down the bunks. It's not bad. I'm going to show you. We're going to have a lot worse pieces that we're still going to try to get a six inch premium piece. But we also want to use this. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. It's going to be awesome. We're not just tossing that away, cutting the six. We're using everything we can. So first, really, I'm just going to do is I'm going to make a small cut. I'm going to find out where I am and I'm going to get me a straight edge across here. I'm going to pick out where I want my six inch piece, might flip it around a couple of times. As we cut towards the middle there, I'm gonna be checking the, the, uh, the moisture temperature of this thing. So this is actually a slower process because we're actually trying to get premium boards that we've already loved on five months ago. So it went through a whole process to actually become decking that's not gonna give you a problem. And this is white oak, best wood for decking that you could cut on your property. So we're going to do a trim right here. We'll show you how we cut it. And that's what we got for you today. OK, guys, we have our board up on the table. So now I'm on my side. And I'm actually looking at what kind of perfect edge I got if I got bark. And really, on my side, I've got a little worse uh, than you do over here. But we're looking to first cut a straight line and get this board straight. So I'm actually checking my worst. I'm telling Jay, nine and a half. Nine and a half, Dan. He's ripping it. Am I cutting it? Cutting it. All right, cutting nine cut and a half. Cut this for the people. Show them how quick you can cut, Jay. That's right. I'll take it slow and steady. So I see that great hanging. Uh, the first light is straightening this board. Really, this one's pretty good, but it's not good enough to make that. Try to make them perfect before we start uh, rolling them through the shop. So as he's cutting, I'm waiting to take that. I'm the guy that decides whether it's going to be a usable piece or if it's just going to the scrap pile, which this one is. Now to get the premium piece out of this board, we actually need to flip it. Now we know we're already straight, so the next piece is, pop that for me, buddy, I couldn't get it's it. It's a little bit tough on this, eh? All 
right? So we both try to give it a clip, work together. Like I said, we're not stacking them up. We're trying to get the premiums out of here. So right now, I'm going to tell Jay, we got a little bark issue going on here. I'm going to tell Jay to cut me at eight and a half. Eight and a half. So at the eight and a half, he's going to straighten out the board, get rid of a little piece. I'm going to get another chunk going on. we have that's our perfect board that's the board we're gonna send back through our mill Jay gives that a toss when he sees him on the other side he's got a strong toss he's almost thrown that past the guards a couple times watch the fan another reason we don't give him a shank that's right <laughs> all right we get our perfect board out of the way Step whoop right over your guys' head. <laughs> hey, grab that camera. Okay. Going cinematic, fellas. Okay, now look, I've got a piece of white oak. It's an inch and three-eighths thick. Because that's actually how we made our boards. We know when we plane them down, we're gonna have a perfect five quarter, not that one inch stuff you get at the store. So that's how thick my decking is gonna be on 16 inch joists. I mean, it's going to be ridiculously strong. But this piece, not good for the decking. I've been over here separating our stuff because we know this is white oak. It's been dry. It's actually ready to be made into furniture or anything like that. So the cutoffs that we had this morning, realistically, we've been working for an hour and a half. Every piece of this, Jay and I are going to be building ourselves white oak workbenches with it. We're going to show you our new glue machine. We've got all our boards straightened out. Going to run through the planer really quick, glue them together. We're getting deck boards this morning. We're getting new workbench boards today. I don't know. Seems like a good day for anybody. It's a good day, Dan. It's a good day. Sometimes, guys, you just get a board that you're not going to be able to cut a, uh, the bows in it too big, the barks in it too long. We don't waste this. The easiest way to take care of this situation is I always, always, always have my little battery operated chainsaw around. I just nip it off, get the best piece I can. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this piece later because it's not going to waste. We're going to cut it down. So. Real simple, cut your piece. Don't make a whole thing a waste. Get the material out that you can. That's a saw I'm allowed to use. Jay's allowed. This is Jay. When we log, this is Jay's saw. <laughs> I don't get I moved them up to the little gas one yet, but <laughs> I'm afraid with the big trees yet. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> okay, guys. We've actually got, what do I got here? I don't even know what I got here. It was cut at a one by eight. It's like seven and three quarters. You see, I've got a bow in it from where it's at. So we're gonna actually cut it out. We're gonna cut it straight. I can't promise that it's not uh, gonna warp again, but it should be stable because this is dry. So now you can cut it straight, use the board. Everything's gonna be fine. So I really, what I do is when I got them bowed up like that, I'm looking at my bottom end. What's the smallest cut I can make where I'm gonna get through this? Cause I'm trying to make the room right here. Now I've already checked it out. And I told Jay, we gotta be up at like seven and a quarter inches to make this board work. So we still get a premium board. Cause that's really what we're after. So Jay, start her up, give us a shot. Do it. I'm still, I get out of the way. We have the fan just shut off for you guys. Normally we have this fan blowing, helps blow this fine dust out of the way. But we're sizing premium boards, not just board and batten where it don't matter. This stuff's gonna matter. 
So again, I take care of the piece while he's taking care of the saw. And we just, just barely made it down there in the end. But a lot of these ends are going to get cut off. We're going to actually go through the boards later on. Have to cut out the notch. You guys know when you're building decks how many different sizes of stuff that you got. So we're going to get that last clip. We're going to straighten this board. And keep on keeping on. So Jay knows where we're at. I don't even have to call the number, buddy. Give us our six, and we're going to get our next one done. On it. He's on it. Before he gets going, me. Out of the way of the dust machine. That much? Yeah. Come on, baby. Consistency counts. I actually don't normally check on them. But you're going to actually see how close we're going to get. Now, it looks like we're trying to actually upgrade our thing to a laser, which will make this process for us faster. And I'm just about ready to open up the shop out here in the back. And you'll see, we've got an inline rip saw that's going to make this process almost obsolete. But I'm going to try to build this deck. I'm definitely going to build this uh, workbenches for you guys. And we're going to do it kind of old school with the small planers and stuff that almost every hobbyist has. Because that thing is so easy to make. Anybody with a couple of clamps and a uh, couple saw horses, you can make yourself some beautiful, beautiful stuff. So there you go. We just took the curvy lurvy over here, which is now another premium white oak deck board. I mean, heck. Stack it up. It came out perfect, Jay. Came out good. Right there on the long pile. I love when we get 16 footers. I love it. Here's a little small guy. He's got some premium all over him. We're definitely getting workbench material out of his butt. We do. We do. I promised them a lot of workbenches. We might as well make the coolest ones on YouTube. Hey, sorry. I know you guys make cool workbenches. Shoot. All right. We're ready to go again. The only thing I didn't show you, I'm going to show you now. So I keep forgetting. I just keep talking. My friend. You can cut that at eight. Straighten her out. Ocho. Ocho. All right, eight. So I come here and help him out if it's wiggling a little bit. And I really didn't check it on the last couple of pieces because I've had no issues throughout this whole stack. So there we just have a little baby cut off. Now, you're really going to want to check. We just made a cut to the center of your wood. Okay? Running, running 13 right now. 12. We're running no water in the machine, so it's not really affecting us. Uh, for this being outside wood, I'm happy with 12. I live down in Tennessee. I can't even believe it gets to 12 because I've never seen it less than 88% humidity on a dry day. So, guys, we're gonna flip it. We're gonna try to get another premium piece for another piece of table. I might as well cut them all in one day. The machine we got, Jay's going to glue everything up in one day. It's beautiful. I can't wait. He can't wait. He's losing his mind. I promised him, promised him, promised him, promised him. Seven and three quarters, give me a skim. And then down to, to six. Seven, same size, seven and three quarters? Yes, sir. He's going to cut that seven and three quarters. Six, getting another premium piece. Okay. There we 
you go, guys. You'd be hard pressed to do this this fast on a table saw. Okay, my inline rip saw, twice as fast. Table saw, no. You'll kill your blades. Your woodland mills, it's the best way to do this kind of work. You get straight, straight boards. You know you got straight cans. Why wouldn't you have straight boards? Just gotta let them dry. Do their thing. They might do the wiggle. Then fix them up. Jay's making the last cut. Now I've got another premium, premium white oak for our table challenge over here. Holy smokes. All right, guys, I hope that helped some of you out who are looking to make their own decking or siding or just learn how to size dry boards. Thanks for watching. Good stuff, Dan. Good stuff, Jay. So guys, it's just in a day of Dan and Jay who's my main man. we are actually got all our deck boards finished. We've got all our stuff ready to go to actually make our work tables. But here, we're about ready to actually do another rotation. That kiln is filled. And I actually didn't write it down and I can't remember how much white oak decking we have. So we need to get it out of there. It's ready. It's been cooking for a month. This is the next bad boy stack going in. This is all the hickory flooring we cut last month. It's been out here drying. I've been sitting here testing everything where we're at. And it's actually ready to hit the kiln. Get sterilized. I'm going to try to turn this on and show you here. but Boom. It's reading low. Right here. I'm at 12%. This has only been drying for a month. It's not even in the kiln yet. It's going to come out perfectly. So Jay and I at some point are actually going to get to get this pile again in front of us. We're going to process it on our uh, woodland mill saw and we're going to bring it through our shop and make ourselves some hickory siding that day. So just the diversity in everything that we do keeps this job exciting. And actually showing you guys what we do is really, really, really been a pleasure for all of us. We've had a lot of great comments and... Um, Thank you. It's a great community, Dan. It's a great community. I love it.